make that type of sacrifice while carrying the hopes and dreams of the entire nation. Manu, and he just had a 
the game like you got to throw a coin like you know fraud. He got the three shots in the row. He beat me in the first season. So really hard to be your friend, but you know. I wish all your love and all your family stop and calm those demons that they're gonna come every night for that competition, those games. And you can live a shiny, plenty, long life. And maybe we can give you back all that you gave us. Person, way better player, and I think it's unbelievable how much things I got to say. So I'm gonna say this in Spanish. Mano, gracias por hacerme mejor. Gracias por hacerme mejor. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man who coached Mano his entire NBA career. Thank you, welcome. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get through this. I know I am. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm certain I'll get through it. I start to stumble and slap him. Uh, well, uh, when Manu first came into all of our lives, I can still remember that first year and during the summer telling Timmy, we got this guy coming. And, you know, RC and his guys did such a great job finding this young kid who was fearless. A little bit of a whack job, <laughs> but uh, tenacious, tough. And I would tell Tim, so Timmy, this, this guy can play. He's, he's good. You're going to really like him. And Timmy would go, yeah, yeah, Bob. Okay, fine. <laughs> I've heard that before. And then a lot of came. But he had a bad ankle, and he couldn't really do much. And so he was like a half a player. And finally, we decided we're going to sit him down. We're not going to play until January. And then he was healthy all the way. And I would guess that once we brought him back in January, it took Timmy about a week. And he said, oh my God, who is this kid? And he figured it out very quickly. I, uh, and I had the, the honor to coach him. But before I go on, there's another guy here uh, who coached him. That's one of my assistant coaches from Italy, Enteray Messina. Are you over there, Enteray? I don't know if you have the lights you can find him. But Manu played in Bologna for Enteray Messina and won his first Euro League championship. And that's uh, important. And while we're at it, since we're um, talking about Etre, the, the members of the 2004 Argentinian uh, Olympic team who won the gold medal, some of those, like five or six of those guys are here beside me, just fab. They should be recognized because that's, that's one of the best basketball teams I've ever seen play in my entire life. American team, and uh, it, it hurt a lot, but I was never happier for anybody than, than for Mata that night. So then I had to coach him here, and believe it or not, my hair was dark, dark brown. <laughs> but it didn't just get like this, it got this like... 
By the second year coaching him, it was dead white. Long time ago. It was white. Without any doubt, I remember. I look at pictures once and I'll say, like, who is that guy? Who is that guy? Now I get to look at this every day. But as I went, I became a better coach because I learned to zip it now and then because you'd watch him play and all of a sudden he would make a steal to win a game or get an offensive rebound or shoot a three that was totally contested, the worst shot in the world, and would go in because he's a winner. So I, I had to learn to stop going and say, Mother, please, Louis, what? Do we need that? What? Why? This is what I do. That's what I tell them over and over. And then I looked over at Tim or Tony and they would just shrug their shoulders and we'd all just move on. Move on. But uh, there, the way the team was set up, we all needed each other. And without Manu, there were no championships. His drive, his unbelievable will to win, his competitiveness were off the charts. But I can tell you this, in all honesty, as good a competitor as he was, and how much he gave of himself, he loved it. He loved the game, he loved the competition, it was all about winning. <coughs> but that was that. What he cares about more than what drives his life are those four people right there. That's where his heart is. And that's what makes him so special, both on and off the court. He understands priorities. He was one of the greatest teammates anybody could ever have. As we stated, his curiosity, he comes in and he wants to talk about politics. He wants to talk about religion, about black holes in space. Everything. And that's not an exaggeration. A special, special guy. Uh, the last thing I'm going to say is, and it's been said, but it was probably the most important thing that we did in our franchise over this whole span is when Manu Ginobili agreed grudgingly to come off the bench. It's, it sounds like a small thing. But it made us so much deeper, so much more powerful and dangerous. And I can tell you, he didn't like it. He didn't like me. He didn't want to do it until he thought about it. And lucky for me and our team, he's highly intelligent and understood the big picture and what it would mean. And he did it. And so he's going to go to the Hall of Fame.
I got that call from Pop. Uh, every year I watch the draft. I sit at home, I tell everybody all day long, I'm not watching the draft, I'm not going back to this. Um, I, I sit at home, I watch the draft, and we pick people that I've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there, Emmanuel Ginobili. <laughs> I enjoy 
being part of a team, having fun with, with my teammates and winning together, losing together, spending time together, having teammates to have fun with, and you want to go to the club with is awesome, and I had plenty of this. That was my role in the team, to bring that juice, to bring that energy, bring a spark. I'm being so competitive and a little crazy, obsessed with the game, the only goal was to win the championship. Remember this moment, the San Antonio Spurs are NBA World Champions. One day, 
win something with the national team, who knows? And, and then uh, all of a sudden I wake up and I'm here and I hear what these legends got to say about me, what the other guys that talked before, people that I admire, I respect, I love what they have to say, and it's just overwhelming, completely leaves you like mind blown. So I, I'm so thankful and I would like to go shake each one of your hands and give you a hug. And uh, beyond, beyond appreciative. Uh, I also want to acknowledge that, you know, I, I made it here, it was a long ride from growing up in Argentina, but I, I'm telling you, I've been very lucky. I've been lucky my whole life. Uh, and a few examples are that I, I was raised in a family with uh, two very present, supportive parents that are somewhere there. That allowed, allowed me and my brothers to follow our dreams, to follow our passion of playing basketball. And it provided us for everything we needed to do that. Uh, I was born in a city that lived basketball in a very special way and that nurtured and fed my hunger for this sport, for my uh, craziness of playing basketball. And that was you know, a lucky break too. I didn't choose to be born there, I didn't choose to be born in that family. Another crazy one is at 20. At 20 I was in a city playing in Argentina and I happened to meet this funny, smart, generous, charismatic, young, beautiful lady <laughs> that the crazy thing is that happened to like me back. <laughs> you should have seen me at 20. And she liked me back. And she chose to come with me on this ride. <laughs> and that was a like break. <laughs> You're gonna know the rest. Uh, a couple of years later, we're talking about the draft, that draft night. That draft night, I didn't know it was happening. As I said before, I was in the middle of the Amazon with this guy here, and the other ones that are around. And we were just preparing for a tournament, and all of a sudden I get the call that I was drafted by the NBA champions. What? No, I can't. That can't be possible. Uh, no, no, it's true. Look. And I saw that it was in 57. It was, you know, it was a, 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 a three. But uh, you know what? That that made me change my goals, though. I knew I was gonna be on the radar. I knew it depended on me now. If I got good enough, I was gonna be noticed, and maybe I get that phone call one day. And that, you know, a few years later, uh, I got better, and that phone call arrived, and I ended up here. Uh, and that's another record. Uh, so, I'm telling you, I've been, I've, I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dealt amazing, amazing cards. I just had to play them okay. That's all I had to do. Uh, you guys know that this is a team sport. Nothing can be accomplished individually in this you know, world. And uh, I want to be appreciative, I want to be thankful. I've been trying to talk to myself, say, okay, relax, chill, you know, it's not that important, you know. It's just uh, be funny, be happy. But you know, I, I didn't have the chance to talk to many people to, uh, to show my uh, appreciation. So, what a better opportunity to do it now. And I might get a little emotional. Uh, it's quite an uh, emotional day. But I want to make, make you understand that I'm not melancholic at all. I'm fired up with my decision of having the time I have, the decision I made to have the opportunity to be with these four so much more time. 
por todo ese tiempo, por todas esas amistades y esas vivencias. Muchas gracias, Padre Vos, los que están allá arriba y los que están en casa. The second group will be the ones that you know, Bernard. The Spurs uh, teammates. Uh, again, again, I didn't mention it before in the Latin part, but gosh, getting here and having guys like this. Team Tony, I mean, thousands of games together. I mean, how, how incredible it is to be able to just tell you everything I needed to tell you with a look. Or just Tony raising my eyebrows and knowing when you were going to close that door. And uh, when I had to tell you something, when I never tell you something, uh, what we had was very special. And I'm always going to be proud of him. Thank you. Uh, any other guys at the over there? Uh, Paddy, Bobo, and Tiago. You guys kept this 40 year old grams young for many years. <laughs> when it was starting to get uh, tough to get on the road and leave my kids at home, my wife, you guys kept it interesting and fun. Love you guys. I'm in debt. You go wherever you are. I'm Tiago at home. And then, I, of course, I'm going to miss many. But here we have a few Finn, Bruce, Nasi. Sean, uh, Jock, that is not here, Malik, uh, David, uh, Brent, uh, so hard to mention them all, Rachel, Fabri is here too, already mentioned him. So many quality guys that I, I have been so lucky in here, 16 years. That the, the, the late dinners, the conversations, always so much fun, learning from beds about so many things and always losing together and winning together. It was truly amazing. Uh, uh, Pablo, you are a sensitive, generous, caring, smart, Person, but you, you mean so much to me, Father Yellow. You wouldn't even know. Uh, I really appreciate all you guys for being with me. And again, I learned so much. And basketball, you know, basketball is gone, it's over, who cares? Uh, what, what I learned from you is more important than that, and I always be thankful. Here, but I don't know where they are. Bye bye, Mama. <laughs> uh, ¿Dónde está la En algún lado estará por ahí. Bueno, gracias. Creo que es mejor que me lo pueda mirar a los ojos. Gracias por, por darnos todo lo que necesitábamos como dije antes, por seguir nuestros sueños, darnos la libertad de elegir, por más que mamá tanto no te gustó al principio. Que quería ser un hijo doctor, eh, abogado, contador o lo que sea, pero siempre la nota libertad de elegir. Papá, eh, siendo un fanático total del básquet, espero que me estés escuchando por ahí, eh, jamás interferiste en nada con mis compañeros, con mis entrenadores, con mis clubes, con nadie, pero siempre te sentí al lado pegadito, apoyándome. Así que muchísimas gracias, que yo valen más que cualquier consejo. Eh, ¿Ustedes tres? Sí, ustedes tres. Eh, no sé, no sé si entienden algo de lo que estamos haciendo. Vos antes estás más dormido que otra cosa. Eh, la verdad que no sé si van a entender algo. Eh, solo quiero que sepan que no estoy triste, estoy muy contento. Ya es muy especial lo que está pasando hoy. 
y si por momentos lloro un poquito, es de felicidad. Y que todo lo que hacemos con mamá es siempre por el bien de ustedes. Se los digo todos los días, me voy a decir siguiendo, diciendo todos los días de acá hasta que tengan 28 o 29, los quiero más que nada al mundo. ¿Y ahora? Y a vos, eh, bueno, tendría que durar dos, tres horas el evento para agradecerte. Pero, bueno, voy a elegir un par de cositas. Gracias por aguantar mis obsesiones por veintipico años. Que la siesta tiene que ser hasta ahora, que el silencio tiene que ser total, que la comida tiene que ser esto, que hoy no puedo salir porque estoy cansado, mañana juego. Pero jugué ayer, así que tampoco mañana. Eh, gracias por, por bancarte en todo eso y ayudarme a que todo esto sea más fácil y que solo tenga que estar en lugar. Gracias por bancarte veranos y veranos que tendría que haber sido nuestro momento familiar, disfrutando en una playa, descansando permitiendo que me vaya a jugar todos los veranos, o muchos veranos, con los chicos a Londres, a eh, Japón, en China, en Mar del Plata, lo que sea, y vos sintiéndote orgulloso de que yo hiciera que me gustara, que estuviera con ellos. Eh, muchísimas gracias por que se Gracias por tu compañía, gracias por tu amistad, gracias por tu amor incondicional, gracias por hacerme quien soy y gracias por tantas veces relegar tanto de vos para ponerme prioridad a mí como prioridad a mí y a tus hijos. Eh, voy a estar en deuda para siempre, pero calculo y estimo que tengo 40, 50 años por delante para verte un y haré todo lo que pueda hacer. Al resto, eh, ok, back to English, back to English, sorry. Uh, I got lost, but it'll be in there. I uh, tweeted a few months ago when I announced my retirement that it was, it has been an, uh, an amazing journey, something like that, way beyond my wildest dreams. Tell you, completely true. Thank you all, seriously, for being here and all watching, for being with me all along.